Ellipsis, in the context of grammar, refers to the omission of words or phrases that can be understood from the context. This advanced grammatical structure is often used to streamline sentences or convey a sense of informality. Here's a detailed explanation with examples. 1. Ellipsis in verb phrases. 1.1 Omission of auxiliary verbs. Ellipsis commonly occurs with auxiliary verbs when the context makes them clear. This is especially common in informal or spoken language. 1. Original, she can sing, and he can, too. 2. With ellipsis, she can sing, and he can too. 1.2 Omission of the verb, to be. Ellipsis is frequently used with the verb, to be, when it's clear from the context. 1. Original. The book is interesting, and the movie is interesting too. 2. With ellipsis, the book is interesting, and the movie too. 2. Ellipsis in noun phrases. 2.1 Omission of repeated nouns. When a noun is clear from the context, it can be omitted for brevity. 1. Original. John is going to the market, and Mary is going to the market too. 2. With ellipsis, John is going to the market, and Mary too. 2.2 Omission of articles and pronouns. Articles, a, an, the, and pronouns can be omitted when the meaning is clear. 1. Original. I have a cat, and my sister has a cat too. 2. With ellipsis, I have a cat, and my sister too. 3. Ellipsis in adjective and adverb phrases. 3.1 Omission of adjectives. When adjectives are clear from the context, they can be omitted. 1. Original, she has a big house, and he has a big house too. 2. With ellipsis, she has a big house, and he too. 3.2 Omission of adverbs. Adverbs can be omitted when the meaning is evident. 1. Original, he speaks English fluently, and she speaks English fluently too. 2. With ellipsis, he speaks English fluently, and she too. 4. Ellipsis in imperative sentences. 4.1 Omission of subject and verb. In imperative sentences, the subject and sometimes the verb can be omitted. 1. Original, you clean your room, and I'll clean mine. 2. With ellipsis, you clean your room, and I'll mine. 5. Examples in context. 5.1 Ellipsis in conversational context. 1. Context. Two friends discussing their weekend plans. 2. Original. Sarah. I'm thinking of going to the beach this weekend. 3. John. That sounds great. I might go too. With ellipsis. Sarah. I'm thinking of going to the beach this weekend. John. That sounds great. I might too. 5.2 Ellipsis in written context. 1. Context. A formal email discussing project updates. 2. Original. The marketing team will handle the campaign, and the design team will handle the visuals. 3. With ellipsis, the marketing team will handle the campaign, and the design team too. Tips for using ellipsis. Maintain clarity. 1. Ensure that the omitted elements are clear from the context to avoid confusion. Consider formality. 1. Ellipsis is more common in informal and spoken language. 1. Use it judiciously in formal writing. Use for brevity. 1. Employ ellipsis to streamline sentences and convey information concisely. Understand context. 1. Consider the context and the relationship between clauses when deciding where to use ellipsis. Conclusion. Ellipsis is a valuable tool for streamlining sentences, especially in informal or spoken contexts. When used judiciously, it enhances clarity and conciseness, allowing for smoother and more natural communication in both written and spoken English.